Okay, I'm here at Carvin's Cove today, and I'm going to do a little bit of fishing from my kayak. I got to tell you, I've never fished here at the lake, even though I've lived in the area since the mid-80s, and I'm very anxious to see what kind of fishing uh, we can produce here today. I will tell you it's a little bit hot, and I'm probably getting here a little late in the day. It may be the first, like, 90-degree day of the summer. Not ideal conditions, but... I will see what we can do, and if I can find some other fishermen, we'll talk to them too. Before you fish, you need to pay to park. $7 per vehicle per day, but 12 if you have a trailer, like me. If you have a motor on your boat, it needs to be 10 horsepower or less. But most people seem to prefer kayaking. It's certainly a pleasant way to catch a fish. As it turns out, there were several other people with the same idea like Sarah Jones of Roanoke. What are you fishing for? Anything that'll bite. Really? <laughs> have you fished here before? Can you tell me about it? I have. It's pretty hard, especially on like a little boat or off the edges, but sometimes you get a little bite. So what made you decide to come to the cove today? Somewhere different to go. Someplace different? Uh -huh. Then there's the father-son combo of Joel and Brett Starnes of Lynchburg. They had all the gear. You got all the stuff. I've been known to catch a few fish. Uh-huh. Brett caught this nice bass on his last trip, and that was enough to make him come back. Uh, fishing's always been a part of my life, even as a youngster. So I passed it on to the sun, and we're just going to keep it rolling. Okay. And I just couldn't wait to see what the day might bring. Okay. I'm underway. See what kind of fish we have at Carvin's Cove. My goal is to catch a fish, any fish. Joel and Brett let me hang out with them for a little bit across the lake, but the fishing was slow and so I moved on. The lake holds all kinds of fish from bass and sunfish to catfish and big striped bass hybrids. I was fishing for the first time in my new pedal propelled kayak which keeps my hands free for fishing instead of paddling. But between the new kayak and my inexperience with the cove, it took a while to figure things out. Getting bites from smaller fish, so I want a smaller fly, but everything I've got in here, it's kind of too big. Same problem in here. Again, everything's too big, but maybe, maybe one of these little guys would do it. That's a little bit smaller. First cast with the smaller bug, and there's a nice sunfish. Now that's that's what I want to do. I want to come out here, and if I catch a bass, it's great. But catching a bunch of these sunfish, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, there's my big catch of the day so far. The small fish were entertaining, but I wanted to see if I could catch a bass. So I switched to my spinning rod, and pretty quickly, I hooked up. There he is. There he is. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's a... Oh. I lost him. Well, at least I know that one is still in there. Carvin's Cove is prettier from the water than I ever imagined. It's surrounded by mountains, and although it gets a lot of fishing pressure on this Friday afternoon, I found myself alone in coves and inlets that seemed like they were miles from anywhere. I had kayaked about four miles, but didn't begin to see all the cove has to offer. Back at the dock, I caught up with Joel and Brett. <laughs> They'd had a slow day until Brett broke through with a big one, the kind of fish that makes a day of effort worth it one of Carvin Cove's legendary striped bass. 
Whether it's those father-son memories or just enjoying the beauty of the region, Carvin's Cove is worth checking out. Okay, so it's been a great day here at Carvin's Cove. Caught a few fish, caught three or four small ones, lost three big ones, which seems to be the uh, state of my summer so far, but okay, I can deal with that. But look at this, look how beautiful this is. And if you want to come here and fish and participate in the Blue Ridge Games, all you have to do is come fishing. You don't even have to catch a fish, take a picture and pin it at WSLS.com or on the WSLS app. And then you'll be, and when you get enough points, you'll be entered to win some prizes. So good luck. Hope you enjoy our beautiful area and the Blue Ridge Games, and I'll see you out there.